Great. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We're excited to have you all here as a part of our Rangeforce Product Innovations webinar. Uh, my name is Kurt Werner. I'm the Director of Product Marketing. I just wanted to give a, a quick notice here at the start of the webinar. That this is recorded, so we will be sending out a recording to attendees following the webinar. I also want to let you know that we do have the Q&A open throughout the webinar. We'll also have a few polls. So um, stay tuned for that. Oh, we'd love to see your participation. Um, hope for some interaction from the audience here um, as we share our updates and let you know what's been happening here at Rangeforce. So to get started, uh, I'd like to introduce Jeff Orloff, who is our VP of product here at Rangeforce. Jeff, would you please uh, introduce yourself and, and also introduce your team for us? Sure thing. Thank you, Kurt. And um, again, my name is Jeff Orloff. I lead the product team here at Rangeforce. And I'd like to welcome everybody to this, our first product innovations webinar. So we plan on doing this quarterly. Uh, and I ask you all to be on the lookout for future invitations and, and share it amongst other Rangeforce users as well. Uh, I think we get more out of these webinars and more people we have. So we're really excited to, to kick off this series and, um, and engage with you all the customers. So before we get started, I just wanted to go over a couple of housekeeping items. As, uh, as Kurt said, we are recording this webinar, so we'll be able to broadcast it later for you all to, uh, to pick up anything you may have missed. Um, another thing you've noticed, uh, participants are all muted, but we do ask you to engage with both our polls and use our Q&A section there at the bottom. So if you do have a question or anything that comes up, please use that feature to alert us and what we'll do is, is respond to questions at the end of the webinar. If we do get a, too many that time is running over, we will send a response to you via email, but we'll try and get to everything we have there. One last item is if you are attending RSA this year and you'd like to meet with myself or with a member of the customer success team, I'll ask that you please reach out to your customer success manager or your sales representative and they'll sync you up with one of us and we can go ahead and schedule that, whether it's just for a quick coffee or some time to chat throughout the conference. With that, I'd like to introduce our two product managers, the people who are really responsible for driving a lot of the cool things that we have here at Rangeforce, Taryn Massey and Charlie Fleetham. So I'll turn it over to you two and, and let you go from there. Hi, my name is Taryn Massey. I have been with Rangeforce a little over a year and I'm located in the Washington DC area. And hi, my name is uh, Charlie Fleetham. I am product manager based out in London, uh, the UK, having previously worked with a lot of our clients as a customer success manager and then moving over to work with product earlier this year. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's, uh, let's get into the agenda and, and get this thing going. So again, we'll start off a little bit with where we've been, some of the uh, features that we've released this year. They also have some slides and mock-ups of some of the upcoming features that we have planned for next year with, uh, with Rangeforce Platform. And finally, as promised, we'll dive into all those questions that you may have. Again, the polls will run throughout the webinar. So if, uh, if you see one up there, uh, we ask that you engage with it, vote. Uh, it helps us create a better product and, and get more of the things that you all need. So I'll turn it over again to Charlie and Taryn and let you take away. Cool. So the first thing that we'll be going into today is our training plan feature, uh, which was actually released early in uh, 2021. It was probably the larger feature that we released this year and probably the most popularly, popularly demanded. Uh, if For people who have been using our platform for a few years now, you'll know that previously our content was curated for you. We had it in categories and courses. So when you logged in, you would see the content given to you as has been designed by Rangeforce. With training plans, admins could then create their own content through courses that they create themselves, which we call training plans. So grouping that content together and saying, this is what's most uh, applicable to my staff be it a new joiner who's only just started in your team uh, or someone who's more senior with a lot more experience and should be challenged with a more difficult modules. And with that, they really have the control themselves. 
with this feature, I kind of see it as a uh, great example of a MVP, uh, which for product is a, a minimum viable product. Uh, as we did our initial release and then started to gather feedback from our customers. What did they like? What did they not like? What could be done to improve it? We then scheduled out a few minor enhancements, such as where when a user has been assigned a training plan, they'll get that both in app and but also via the email. Uh, when it's coming to be due, they'll get notified via email as well, uh, both a few days before and the day before. So they're really getting pinged to know that they need to complete this content. Um, with that, we've seen huge adoption. This has been our most popular feature uh, that we've released this year. And we're planning our uh, iteration two currently. So looking at, again, what are customers thinking with this? How do they see that it can be improved next year? And making sure that as we continue to iterate on this feature, it really fits into customers' requirements. The next feature that I was gonna talk about is uh, we partnered with a company originally called Acclaim, now called Credly, so that when you uh, complete content on Rangeforce, you actually have something to show to a world to say, hey, I've actually just spent a good few weeks studying and learning this content, learning how to use tools like Splunk, for example. And I want to share that to a world. I want to shout that I am good at this skill and I want people to know about it. Uh, through Credly, you now receive those badges automatically. Uh, you'll be emailed when you complete that content and you'll be able to accept that badge and then share it. Um, you can share that on social media, such as LinkedIn, Facebook, all of that. Uh, in the future, if you can just uh, click next and, and again. Thank you very much. Um, as you click onto those badges, you'll see more information about them. If they've been accredited by Crest, so if they've had enough content in them to have a certain amount of hours completed, what kind of skills are included uh, for that uh, badge itself. And yeah, if you move on to the next slide. Hey, thanks, Charlie. I'm gonna jump in now here and talk a little bit about the platform rewards. So in the vein of rewarding the user, similar to the Credly badges, we did also add some platform native rewards as, as an element of gamification. We initially started with three. We added some, had some fun ideas and we put those together. And now we've grown to 15 total rewards. Uh, and that's going to continue to grow as we uh, come up with new fun ideas for you all. In order to improve this, in, in this feature, we added some uh, additional fun components to it. Uh, for example, you can see the grayscale rewards there uh, for wars that you have not yet earned. And if you hover over the rewards, that card will flip over and give you instructions on how you can earn that. Um, another fun one we added was uh, three mystery rewards. And so on the back of those, you'll see uh, a hint rather than the instructions. So now moving on to another feature to talk about here. Uh, now as product managers, sometimes we have to build things that our customers don't necessarily know they need yet. Uh, dark mode was a great example of that. When we added this view, it became a sort of an instant hit. The day after we added it and announced it via the notifications within the platform, we had about 60% of, of those users that they turned it on. So that was for us a huge success. We felt like the on and off switch for dark mode was a little bit buried in the profile. So recently we added an improvement to this feature upon where you, you can toggle it on and off uh, in the upper right hand corner. So easily switch on to dark mode and switch it back off if, if you like. Now, some of the smaller additions uh, to the platform that we also want to highlight here. A lot of our customers were looking for a way to see the progress on their courses. Uh, visual, visually looking at that course page, they, they were unable to see where they were and that was a, a very popular request. And so we went ahead and added that progress bar for you. Within the platform, you can select your user persona. This is giving us valuable data and helps us understand our customers better. 
And in the future, we're going to utilize this to uh, provide some more targeted, personalized content. The inact learners receive inactivity emails if they haven't completed a module in the last 30 days. The good thing about this email is it's not meant to be punitive, but it also includes a recently released list of content. So that gives them a chance to kind of entice them back into the platform. Another widely requested ask from customers was the ability to export reporting into CSV format. So we went ahead and added that. Team colors on courses will help you filter if you're looking for content associated with a specific color team. So if you're looking for red team content, if you're looking for blue team content, that's easily sortable now with the team colors. Passive leaderboard is another one uh, for re-engagement. This helps the admins see who within the organization may need an additional nudge to kind of get back in there. This is located on the admin dashboard and this lists users who have not completed a module in the last 15 to 30 days. And finally, we did a complete refresh of our what used to be our team section. It's now called organizations and we have fully empowered the admins to manage their teams through this functionality. And it also gives the large organizations a better view of how their teams and their sub teams uh, roll up to each other. Thanks, Taryn. I think we wanted to uh, interrupt here and, and throw a poll out, poll out to the, the audience if we can do that. So, so the, yeah, the first poll we have, uh, I know we had a lot of excitement around kind of the two of the, the bigger releases or features that we mentioned here today, which is training plans and dark mode. So we'd like to see from our audience what feature you're most excited about. You should see the poll now. Give that a couple more moments. Well, very interesting. I don't know if I should chalk this up to a technical difficulty, but we have uh, no participation in this poll currently. So uh, we'll have to, to see maybe what happened there, but uh, we can uh, move along now, Taryn and Charlie. Yeah, that sounds good. It looks like we're getting some questions from the audience. Do we want to go ahead and try to answer a couple of those? Uh, yeah, let me see if any of those can be uh, answered now. Um, I think uh, maybe better to, to save some of those for the end. Sure. Uh, so we're now going to go into a few things that we're planning for next year. Unfortunately, we can't talk about everything we're planning. I have been heavily warned and scolded, and there's only so much I can say. Um, so when you see what we'll show now, it's going to be early designs. Uh, they're definitely subject to change. Uh, but the first, first feature that I want to talk about is our talent feature. Uh, this has come directly from customers. Uh, essentially, early in uh, 2021, we were discussing with customers what they really need from the platform. And we found that there was a gap for hiring, hiring staff into their teams and knowing that the new staff member had the skills required to do the job. And it turned out that we had a few customers who were using Rangeforce to try and fit that gap within our existing platform and its uh, features, which did not perfectly fit their requirements at all. Uh, so as we discovered and as we uh, discussed with them, we decided to actually build this out as its individual feature. Uh, as you can see here, we have a list of active uh, job roles, a junior SOC analyst, a senior SOC analyst, and a pen tester. Um, alongside that, we also have the option for templates. Uh, templates are when a, Hiring manager, for example, would need to log into Rangeforce, 
and create this evaluation, but they don't have the skill set uh, to actually choose which modules are most relevant to that uh, candidate who needs to be hired. It might be someone from a HR team rather than a uh, SOC manager who's putting this together. So the templates would allow that uh, hiring manager to choose from a curated uh, evaluation that's been created by Rainsource to uh, make that process a lot more efficient for them. Uh, with this, uh, this is something that we're planning to get out as soon as possible, looking at Q1 uh, next year. And it will be that whole setup as we did with training plans, where it is a MVP, which we then discuss with our customers and see what extra bits and pieces do we need to add in to really fit and make it perfect for them? And isn't there any changes that we can make very quickly to almost hot fix if they have found that there could be a minor enhancement to really help them? And if we jump to the next feature that we are looking at updating, that is our updated reporting. Uh, so this is for our admin specifically. When an admin logs in for the first time, they will go to our existing dashboard. Uh, one thing I found when I was a customer success manager uh, at Rainsource earlier in the year is a lot of our customers want to see a quick overview of their uh, users. In particular, the modules attempted, modules completed. Those are the two key variables uh, and something that I would prepare for them as monthly reports. Uh, having that in the platform will really help just allow you to very rapidly see how your team is doing, how your learners are doing individually as well. Uh, and also a nice thing that we'll be adding in would be the hints and solutions which are being used to try and make it clear if, um, for example, you have one learner who does 30 modules uh, without using any hints and solutions, and then you have another learner who does 100 modules but is always using hints and solutions. You can then as an admin quickly and easily compare the two and see which one really is putting in the time and effort. Uh, these reports will be downloadable uh, and presentable to board members, for example, as PDFs and also as CSVs. And that is uh, the two features that I've been given a permission to speak about. Uh, I think we can probably discuss the questions now that have been pinged through. Sure, thank you, Charlie. So the first question that we have is, what are some of the things other Rainforest customers are doing to drive engagement and usage from their learners? Yeah, I think, I think so. I can take that one. That's a great question. You know, we've been talking to our customers about that kind of a lot lately and, and finding that the best thing for them that's shown progress is just building a structured learning program driving those learning programs, um, usually with organization-wide communications and, and just really building excitement and, and building um, community with those programs. Uh, additionally, creating things like internal competitions and, and making sure they're communicating that, that these tools are used for performance evaluations and, and evaluating content, or sorry, rather uh, evaluating talent. So those are some of the things that they're doing to, to really push usage. Karen, could you also speak maybe a little bit to how some customers are using team exercises in that context as well? Yeah, absolutely. Our, our team exercises, of course, are going to give you a live environment to really test your team's incident response and uh, skills. And, and with the after action report that we provide with that, it uh, really gives teams tangible feedback to go and then focus on particular areas and utilize our platform to, to get to the content that they need in order to improve those specific areas. Great, thank you, Taryn. Uh, next question that we have is, how does Rangeforce prioritize what kind of content it develops? Uh, Jeff, maybe you can take that one for us. Absolutely. So. We, uh, we do quite a few things in order to, uh, to scope out new content uh, for development. You know, as, as a company, we, we do rely a lot on what our customers need. So what they're saying they need as far as um, skills development, they may talk more about 
different uh, sim solutions or techniques that you use in an investigation uh, and the like. But then also we, we do a lot of research. So our teams are really scouring threat intelligence feeds and everything to try and find some of those emerging threats that we've noticed and help prepare people in advance. One of the things that we're really proud of is, is a series on ransomware that we're doing that, that deals with a lot of the ransomware we see in the news right now. So ransomware that we know is impacting customers. They can easily spot it to make it easier for them to detect and disrupt those attacks. Um, another one that's that's been in the news lately that uh, I'll ask you all to be on the lookout for as it's releasing in the next day or two is the, uh, is the Log4j um, vulnerability that's been making a lot of news. We know that that's creating quite a few problems for people right now just because it's so easy to exploit. So um, it should be releasing to both our community edition for a short period of time, as well as our main platform, I believe by tomorrow. Um, you can check this week though for it. And what's nice about it, we take a little bit step further. We don't just talk about the exploit, but actually how to build some Yara rules and some other rules on there so that uh, your organization's able to detect if that uh, vulnerability exists in your, in your uh, environment. Great, thank you, Jeff. Uh, I think I just wanted to, to pause between questions right now and, and thanks everyone for letting us know that the, the polls were us and not you, that there was some type of error with Zoom, so we apologize for that. Um, I want to make sure we give you a little bit of time to respond to one of our uh, poll questions that we had, which was around this idea of creating a Slack group for Range Force admins. Um, we're you know, exploring ways to kind of expose some of our customers to shared resources and, you know, experiences from other admins and, and seeing what they're doing in their programs. And, you know, that can kind of be used to even get some ideas around, you know, engagement and, and, and driving more participation in the Rangeforce platform like Taryn was speaking to. So a uh, simple yes or no in the chat would be appreciated by us. Um, are you interested in a Rangeforce Slack group? Uh, moving on to the next question. So I know Jeff just talked about, um, you know, that log J4 quest, uh, module being added to our community edition. We do have a question here about the community edition. Uh, Charlie, if you could answer this for us, it is, are there plans to update the community edition? Sure. Um, the quick and short answer is yes, there are plans to update the community edition. Uh, this is something that I've been working with on the content team. Uh, to see how best we can update that uh, content within the community edition to make sure it remains interesting and engaging. Uh, what we'll be doing is actually doing a refresh in January this year, uh, where we'll be bringing in different themes of content. Then every quarter, uh, we'll be subbing in uh, a new theme. So every quarter that content's gonna change up and remain a little bit more engaging and interesting to everybody. And one of the things we'll be doing uh, with that, and you may have seen this uh, in the last few months, we'll be putting in a survey to all of our community users to ask if that content is really hitting the need for them and uh, how better we can improve community as we wanna make sure that we are continuing to engage all of our users, both our community of free users and our community of customers who are paying, uh, making sure that we're listening to everybody. Thank you, Charlie. Another question for you here. Are the HR evaluations for companies or individuals? So they are mostly designed for companies. However, if you have been seeing some of our more recent updates, uh, I believe it was a month ago, we released our new uh, content tiers. One of those tiers will be our professional level for uh, talent. And that is looking at smaller organizations, so only a few users, and they'll be purchasing purely for talent uh, and using that to as part of their screening process for hiring, uh, rather than buying one of the larger enterprise packages or elite packages. I hope that answers the question. Thank you, Charlie. I think it does. Great, well, it looks to be all the questions that we have. 
as a reminder, um, we will be sending out a recording. Uh, if there is any final questions here, maybe throw it in the chat. And, and Jeff, I wanted to ask, do you want to wrap up for us? Any final remarks to our audience here? No, um, nothing else other than thank you all for attending. We hope to see you on our next one. Again, if you ever need to talk to anyone from the product team, uh, please engage with your customer success managers. And they'd love to have, uh, you know, set up a meeting that we can jump on with you if there's any ideas or anything you just need to chat with us about. We're always open to, to meeting with our customers. Great. Well, thank you all so much for joining. We're excited to pick webinars back up here at Range Forest. And as Jeff mentioned earlier, please stay tuned heading into next year. We're going to really make an effort to, to do these at least quarterly. And we're excited for some of the, the content that we have planned and always excited for what we have planned for the product in 2022. So uh, we look forward to next time and enjoy the rest of your day.